In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take every single MP3 file on your computer, tag it, rename it, and sort it into folders by album, artist, and date. Alright, so let's get going. I've got a music folder right here, and I've already done I've already done this for some of my music, but my library needs to be organized, everything needs to be organized, so to make it easy for myself, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new folder on the desktop and just call it Music Sort. I'm going to go into my music folder, which is this one here, which has all my current music, most of it. It doesn't really matter because what I'm going to do is go ahead and search for all the MP3s <clears throat> in this music folder. And so it's going, I'm going to grab all these MP3s. Some of them have been sorted in other folders, as you can see if we go back. But when I do this search for the .mp3 extension, I can just go ahead and select all of these, drag them over to my music sort folder, and just place those. And now if we go back, we can see we've removed all of the mp3s and we have them in this folder with no archive of folders, which is going to make it easier for us to sort. Okay, so now that we've got all of, we can go ahead and delete all this because we're not going to need it because we're going to reorganize it all in a matter of minutes. <clears throat> so go ahead and open up Music Brains Picard, which you learned how to use in the last tutorial. We're going to go into the preferences file naming, and we're going to set it up like this. So we want to make sure that move files to this directory when saving is checked. We'll browse to our music sort folder, click on choose, and then we want to make sure that we've entered our name files like this area just like this. The artist tag with a backslash, the date tag with a backslash, album tag with a backslash, and then artist space dash title. That's going to put your each track into a folder by artist, year, and album. And then it's going to name the file with the artist and the title, which is what we want. Uh, there's one more thing we have to do to change this date tag to just year because by default it gives the full date. <clears throat> you want to go into advanced, scripting, click on the tagger script, and enter this code and I'll put this all in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Once you've got all that set up, you should already have your fingerprinting set up with your API key. You should already have it on automatically scan all new files from the first tutorial. So click OK, add your folder, which is going to be, <clears throat> for me, music sort. It's going to start loading all the album information. I'm not going to make you sit through all of it while it does it because we already know that it's going to tag everything with the appropriate tag information. But once it gets through, I'll be back. Okay, so it's gone through our 359 files here. And it's gone out to the internet using our API key. And it has found out what all the tag information is for, for all these songs. So now it's just a simple matter on the right side. It's a matter of clicking Command A to select all and then just hit save and then we'll watch the magic happen as it happens as it makes all of our folders and puts all of the all of our mp3s into appropriate folders and you can see it's the artist name it's the year it's the album and then our track is named with the artist name and the album it's a beautiful thing. If you guys find this stuff useful, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like me on Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com backslash mytechadventures. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.